In this paper, we are presenting a deep learning approach for weather forecasting problems. In the beginning, this problem was solved based on expert subjective experience. Since the advent of computer, it is usually solved through numerical weather prediction. With the advent of big data, machine learning methods can recognize weather patterns automatically. In this paper, we propose a deep learning method by learning from historical observations and NWP. To address the variability of weather forecasting, we design a new loss function for uncertainty quantification. Our data are collected in Beijing, China, spanning over three years from 10 meteorological stations, including 29 variables. Our forecasting target is to predict three meteorological values from 10 stations in the future 37 hours for each day within following nine days. We utilize the encoder-decoder network. For the encoder part, observations of yesterday are used to model recent meteorological dynamics. For the decoder part, NWP weather station ID and time step ID by embedding are adopted. Traditionally, MAE or MSE can be chosen as a loss function to train the deep neural network. The trained network then will be used for future forecasting. So far so good. Wait. Due to the complex meteorological dynamics, it is impossible for perfect forecasting. Only single-value forecasting ignores the uncertainty information. This is because taking MSE or MAE as a loss function restrains the ability for uncertainty quantification. To address this, we propose a novel log likelihood loss function based on three effective assumptions. One of assumptions is that forecasted target variable, a base Gaussian distribution. After achieving the single value forecasting, we can inference the prediction interval by looking up the z-score table of Gaussian distribution. We have two targets that need assessment. The first one is the accuracy of single-value forecasting, which is measured by root mean squared error. Compared with NWP, our approach decreases error significantly up to 50%. The second one is the quality of uncertainty quantification, which is measured by PICP. It has satisfied predefined confident probability 90% for each of three target variables. Most importantly, our experiments show a phenomenon which has never been reported in previous researches. For more results, please read our paper.